Today we're heading to China, where Gobi Desert grows by about 3,000 kilometers each year. It's caused by the complex interactions of several factors, including climate change. For years, land in northern and northwestern China had been suffering from human activity and climate change, leading to desertification, sandstorms, and loss of biodiversity. However, the country has been working to turn the tide, and it is building an enormous green wall. How has desertification affected China, and what are all the innovative solutions they've been employing in this fierce battle? Stay with us to find out. If you thought China was just about the Great Wall and dumplings, think again, because China is home to eight massive deserts. Yes, that's right, eight. Unfortunately, these deserts are growing alarmingly, with over 210,000 hectares of land turning into deserts yearly. That's equivalent to almost 300,000 football fields. This land degradation threatens more than 27.4% of China's territory, and the harsh effects are felt by nearly 400 million people in 11 provinces and autonomous regions. From Xinjiang to Inner Mongolia, Gansu to Qinghai, and Ningxia to Shanxi, Shanxi, Liaoning, Jilin, Heilongjiang, and Hebei, the impact of desertification is a matter of great concern. Desertification has plagued our planet for decades, affecting vast areas worldwide. It's turning fertile land into barren deserts, disrupting the delicate balance of ecosystems and causing vegetation, soil, and water loss. Unfortunately, it's not just a result of natural causes, it's also exacerbated by human activities. Drylands are particularly vulnerable to desertification, covering 40% of the global land area, approximately 54 million square kilometers. Over half of these drylands are in Asia and Africa, where the effects of desertification are most pronounced. Unfortunately, these drylands are expanding at an alarming rate, posing an ever-increasing threat to the environment and human livelihoods. Before we go into details about China's innovative techniques and technologies, let us look at some of China's deserts. The Gobi Desert, one of the world's most expansive and breathtaking natural wonders, is often misunderstood as a lifeless wasteland. But there's so much more to this magnificent wonder that stretches across Mongolia and China. At 1.3 million square kilometers, the Gobi Desert is the largest in Asia, bigger than Spain, Thailand, and the United Kingdom combined. It's also home to some fascinating cultural and historical significance. Then we have the Badain Jaran Desert, the third largest desert in China. This desert covers an area of 44,300 square kilometers and boasts five unique features that will amaze you. Its sand dunes are among the highest in China and the world, with a relative height of 200 to 500 meters. The Singing Sand Mountain, a popular attraction, is named after the sound it makes when the sand falls. The desert is also home to over 100 lakes, with 74 filled with water all year round, providing a habitat for various birds and fish. Moving on to Ningxia and Dunhuang, nestled between the Yellow River and the Tenga Desert, lies the stunning Shapoto Desert. Home to a massive sandbank that rises 100 meters high and 2,000 meters wide, the Shapoto Desert is also known for its unique attractions, such as the Shapo Ringing Bell, which produces a distinctive hum as you slide down the sand. The sand flows like a waterfall, creating an ethereal atmosphere like heaven. In Donhuang, the majestic singing sand dunes stretch over 40 kilometers from east to west and 20 kilometers from south to north. The dunes are made of five colored sand, red, yellow, green, white, and black. And the highest peak stands at 1,715 meters above sea level. The Crescent Moon Spring, a stunning green basin surrounded by the singing sand mountain range, shimmers like a pearl and is always rippling and clear. The juxtaposition of the sand and spring creates a unique, awe-inspiring landscape that is truly a world wonder. Last but not least, we have the Taklimakan Desert, the largest desert within the territory of China, covering an area of 337-600 square kilometers. The shifting sand dunes are vast, with a height of 100 to 200 meters generally and around 300 meters at most. The sand dune shapes change unpredictably, ranging from towers to beehives, to feathers, to fish scales. However, it is not just a beautiful place. 
The Taklimakan Desert is also known as the Desert of Death due to its severe impact on the surrounding areas, causing large harm to China and its inhabitants, especially with the increasing desertification. So, what are the causes of desertification in China? Desertification is one of the biggest environmental challenges facing China today. With the country's rapid economic growth and rising middle class, the demand for goods has skyrocketed. But at what cost? Disposable chopsticks have led to a staggering 1.3 million cubic meters of timber being used each year. Illegal logging has led to deforestation, soil erosion, and a drier climate, which has a high ecological cost. As a result, China's deserts are spreading at an alarming rate of over 1,300 square miles annually, and nearly 20% of the country is now desert. Overgrazing by livestock rearing is another significant driver of desertification. Farmers switching to livestock rearing to meet the rising demand for food are eating away at the land once fit for agriculture. This creates unbridled sandstorms that batter cities near the edge of the desert. The Gobi Desert is merging with two other deserts to generate a massive sea of sand that could become uninhabitable as it develops. Desertification threatens to damage agriculture and bury villages, forcing people to flee their homes. However, how has this affected the Chinese population? Desertification in China is a serious problem, not just about the environment. The impact on people is terrifying. Desertification forces entire communities out of their homes, creating climate refugees who often have no choice but to turn to other countries for help. This can lead to resource-driven wars for survival, jeopardizing the well-being and security of entire communities. But it's not just people who are affected. The environment is suffering too. Sandstorms and dust pollution have become a regular occurrence, and they're only set to worsen. The Guardian reported that a recent sandstorm shrouded Beijing in a post-apocalyptic orange haze, pelting the capital and spreading as far as central China. The storm affected about 380 million hectares of land across 12 Chinese provinces, posing a massive threat to human health. With crops failing, livestock dying, and water sources drying up, progress towards sustainable development is hindered. Finally, let's look at how China has waged war against this vicious enemy. One of the most successful programs is the Three North Shelter Belt Project, which aims to plant millions of trees along the border of northern China's encroaching desert. By 2050, the project plans to grow approximately 88 million acres of forest. The project is not only crucial to combat desertification, but it also helps to absorb atmospheric carbon dioxide. Aforestation is an effective way to combat soil erosion and slow the pace of desertification. China's National Action Program to combat desertification, which includes expanding protected areas and restoring overgrazed and marginal farmlands to their natural state, also contributes to this fight. The government has created strong incentives to encourage private sector organizations to invest in restoring degraded areas through public-private partnerships. These efforts and the annual Tree Planting Day on March 12th create awareness and encourage people to participate in the fight against desertification. One exciting component of China's success in combating desertification is the use of licorice, a valuable medicinal herb that grows exceptionally well in desert conditions. Licorice is a mycorrhizal plant that secretes enzymes that increase soil activity and improve soil fertility. It also has the unique ability to absorb and fix nitrogen in the air, which helps to increase soil nitrogen content and improve soil physical and chemical properties. After planting licorice, the soil nitrogen content of cultivated land increased by up to 148% in just four years. Yili Innovation developed a new technology for planting licorice using a transplanting method to grow horizontally and expand its greening area from 0.1 square meters to 1 square meter. This new technology has increased the effectiveness of greening by 10 times and has helped to achieve four goals. Greening the desert, establishing a licorice industry chain, repairing the land, and driving the poor out of poverty. 
their efforts have been noticed, and the UNEP has recognized the Yili Ecological Management District in the Kubuchi Desert as the Global Ecological Economic Demonstration Zone. Their work has restored over 6,200 square kilometers of green desert, fixed 15.4 million tons of carbon, conserved 24.476 billion cubic meters of water, and released 18.3 million tons of oxygen. This has generated over 500 billion yuan in ecological wealth, leading 100,000 local people out of poverty. If you liked this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button right now and check out the next video on your screen we've already prepared for you.